Hi everyone, um, come down to camper today uh, because um, I've been watching a video, well a YouTube channel, Mispronounced Adventures it's called and the guy there's doing a camper up to a very high standard. Um, this guy really knows what he's doing and he goes to a heck of a lot of trouble. Uh, it's watching him that um, makes my work so good. Um, and I've got a lot of influences from him. That's why my repairs are so to a, such a high standard. Um, but watching him the other day, uh, after going to a lot of trouble doing things, it, it, it leaked, which took him by surprise. And it turned out, I'll show you what, what it was. You see, these, these here, the, uh, these additions that are tagged on, well on, these were a, a Ford Transit, these here. And here they are again, these, these pieces here, now, these were a Ford Transit, and they're, um, apparently the, the, the drill holes in the, in the side, and then put, um, like a plastic grommet in the hole and then the, these things have a, a clip on them that shoves in and it clipped in and it was leaking through these holes and, and um, the reason that I'm um, a, a, a penny dropped really is because of this I'll show you I'm underneath the van here and you can see this plastic sheet there I, that I put on because remember when I went rock climbing in it and ran over them boulders I noticed under here that the wood were all soft under here and I thought this is getting wet it's getting wet through is this and I thought it it's coming up it's coming up from road and wetting it because the there's like a plastic a black plastic stuff you can see it there that covers bottom and that one missing here um, and I thought it's brought it off and, and then it's, when I saw this when I saw this thing um, when I saw this thing see the screws there you can see there's a screw there there's, this, this thing here is screwed to the to the body and I'm just thinking is that what's happening Look, water, water's getting down and wetting it. So I've decided to to put a bead of uh, silicon along this edge here um, to see if it stops it. And that's what I've come down here to do. Well, it looks like twat strikes again. I uh, found someone else on here that I don't think's right. And uh, maybe you, you mechanics out there, my friend Carl might be able to help. All right, watch this video. Okay, you'll see. The other thing I wanted to show you, now then, I don't know, can you see here? Can you see all that water in there? It is full of water. So this thing that I've put on here, 
this rain deflector hasn't done a single thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna pour a jug of water down the gully. This gully here. Here. I'm gonna see what happens. Well, look at that. It's running down there. It is running down there. What? I mean... It's running down there. What's wrong with that? So where's the water coming from? that's going in here. Where is the water coming from? That does it. Is it? Here. Is it the rubber seals? There. That works perfectly well. Found the culprit. This seal here on the windscreen. I poured water down the windscreen instead of in the trough, and water just poured all down the engine. So this this seal here, this thing here, is is not keeping water out. I've taped taped it up here and tried it. Poured water down the windscreen, and nothing went on the engine. It's there, that's the culprit. Now, you mechanics out there, Carl at Roman in Raymond, what's, what's going on, Carl? What, why is that leaking? Is it supposed to leak? Is it, has the windscreen not been pouring right? What is it? Maybe you can tell me, Carl. See you later.